and three, two, one, boom, and we're back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. This episode is sponsored by Zenreal Clothing Co. Head over to zenrealclothingco.com and pick up your tees today. Don't forget to use the promo code SGPODCAST for 20% off. All right, so this is a Socratic Gamers movie review. We checked out um, Joker yesterday. Yeah. And uh, it's safe to say that this was an awesome movie. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I said that, and I was like, all right, did you feel any, like, dragging? All right, so you already know that we think it's an awesome movie, but did you think that there were any, like, dragging points to the movie? Uh, no, I did not feel that. Really, eh? Like, not at all? No. Huh. Okay, maybe it was just where. Me. Where did you feel it? I, I think it was, like, when I was beginning to realize, because I had seen, like, a thing before where it was, like, um, this movie doesn't have... Or you were telling me that it's not the Joker that people expect. Okay. You know, with, like, um, with like no action. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's it's one of those movies, so, like... It's a drama, I, really. It's yeah, it was, pure, yeah. It, was, it was a drama movie. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. There was, like, a bit of action, like, the shooting scene, but it wasn't really, like... I, I wouldn't classify that as action. It was not, like, a, it's not really considered action. Somebody just, like, died. That yeah. was it. But, yeah. like, yeah, I think when, when I was... My brain was making the switch between, oh, this isn't going to be action-filled, like, there's going to be no hand-to-hand combat, there's yeah. going to be none of that. No. Like, I was like, oh, it's a person movie yeah and then i started to feel like oh it's kind of dragging but then i was like no no, no. you have to appreciate it for what it is like I, I went in with a different expectation i guess oh yeah okay so maybe th- so that that's what i'm saying that's like preface anyone who like goes in to watch it from like a joker perspective like you're like, or like oh, a comic book based yeah, perspective, yeah that's what i'm think. saying you know yeah. what I mean? like it's not a comic book movie no it's sense. not and no. that's what that's what made me feel like it was dragging because i was like Oh, I came to see like a Batman movie, and it was mm-hmm. more like a psychological thriller. Yeah, yeah. Like it's it's even though I heard that it was a psychological thriller going into it, I didn't expect it to be that much of a psychological thriller. Like it was a psychological thriller. Uh, yeah, you know, that's what I expected, though. <laughs> True. Just I see. from I th- I felt that from the trailers and stuff that there was nothing. It was just straight only about him and. The I think the only part that I felt like some action was when he killed um, his the guy who like set him up with the scissors. Mm-hmm. When he like stabbed him in the neck and like all that stuff, I was like, "Oh, we're about to see!" And like that was like the highest point of action that you ever got. Yeah, that that yeah. scene felt like this is that that is Joker. Yeah, that's what Joker yeah, would that's do. when he turned. That's when he turned. Yeah, it, that is what Joker would do. And then like how he that was actually perfectly I, Joker, yeah, and, yeah. and how he let the other guy go. You thought he was gonna kill him, mm-hmm. but like Joker's so like um, you don't know random. Well, yeah, yeah, what he's gonna he's do so random exactly. So when he's like, and then he like shut the door, and then you're like, uh oh, he's gonna kill him. And then he's like, you were the only one that was ever nice to me. And then he opened the door and let him go. Yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. dude, that is such a Joker moment. Yeah. <laughs> It fit exactly as as to what Joker would do. Yeah. yeah. He just wants the chaos. But, like, did he... Know? It's like, because there were so many... Uh, like, righteous it, chaos, though. In, yeah. that, in that scene, it's like, he's the one that put the lock, right? So, did he... He know. He so knew. So, he knew. So, it's like... Uh, I, that's why I thought he was going to kill. I thought like, he was, oh, like, trying to he's mess just with his head. It. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then it was like... But still, like, you still don't know. And it's like, at the end, oh, okay, he let him go. But it's like... Yeah. yeah. But you had, like, that moment of, like, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Right. Uh, yeah. But all right, we we digress. So first, we're gonna score it, talk about the movie, score it again, see yep. if we sway each other's opinion. So what do you score this one? You love Joker too, though. So like... <sighs> I did, I did, I did, I did love this one too. So it's <sighs> like you. Loved... I I never like giving perfect scores because there's always ways to improve. I guess hmm. it's near perfect for me. So like, what what was the near perfect? Like nine point nine. Yeah, let's go nine point nine. Asymptote. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> Wow, okay. I'm going to give this one an 8. All right. Yeah. That's a more, like, reasonable score, you know? Uh, I, I'm i usually the one with the crazy scores, but on this one, yeah, I'm going to go pretty conservative. Yeah. Or pr- pretty pretty normal, like, with an 8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Well, what did it get IMD, IMDb-wise? Uh, I think it's around that. Eight, 8, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I... Okay, so the big question is, is this your favorite Joker? Uh, like, 
Because it's a different style of Joker. I know, right? So it's like... It's... I don't know. I like the Heath Ledger Joker because his... You didn't really know much even about his true past, right? Right, yeah. And the way he acted was really good. And he had hand-to-hand combat. Exactly. He had, like, arms. Exactly. Like, he was like a... He was like a mob. I really like that Heath Ledger Joker. Yeah. And this one was... He is much more... Like he's just crazy. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Before you go on that, yeah. let, let's go through all the Jokers. So do you remember the Jack Nicholson one? A little bit, yeah. I think that was the least favorite of mine. Jared Leto? Oh, that's the least that's favorite the of least mine. Favorite. Sorry, I, I forgot <laughs> like, about that. Yeah, yeah. I totally yeah. forgot about that yeah. one. The Jared Leto one was really The bad. worst one, yeah. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> the worst one. I don't even, like, he was, like, in love with her. He was, like, a romantic. It was very <sighs> odd. Yeah. I, I, I don't even, that totally, I forgot about that one. Yeah, so... Yeah. Jared Leto, you're awesome. I, I yeah. hate knocking people's like work, especially mm-hmm. creative work, because it's all subjective. But yeah. like, yeah, d- that was my least favorite. I'd say Jack Nicholson was the next one. Uh, we're gonna ignore the TV show Jokers, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, Jack Nicholson would be the next one. Then Heath Ledger. Then yeah, this one for me. Right. Is that the same score for you? Yeah, like the same order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I liked Heath Ledger's one. But now that I look at this one, I'm yeah. like, no, this is real crazy. Yeah. Like, you thought Heath yeah. Ledger's one was crazy. He always, he always wanted con, uh, conflict, chaos, mm-hmm. and, you know, like, some people just want to watch the world burn. Yeah, But I'm exactly. like, no, no, this person just wants to watch the world. Not even, no, no, no. No, no, no. Watch, that's, that's, he doesn't want to watch no, the world burn. No, 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 it's not. Exactly. exactly. He didn't have a motive. Yeah, he didn't have a he, motive. That's what I liked about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. That exactly. makes him more crazier. When, when, like, in the show, they're like, in the story, the movie, they're like, oh, are you wearing that face paint? Um, for the protest, the protest, and he's like, "No, um, I don't have any political leanings. I actually don't believe in any of it." It's like, <laughs> that so makes sense. right? So it's like, <laughs> yeah, that, that would be a Joker thing. But that's more of like, um, it, it almost seems like he's like Nietzsche's nihilism. Yeah, you know, he's like mm-hmm. nothing matters. Yeah. So because remember, he's like, I always thought my life was a tragedy, but now I see it's a comedy. Yeah, and it's like that's what. That's what all spiritual people... Honestly, Joker is a very Zen character. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he realizes that, like, uh, life is a comedy or a tragedy, and, mm-hmm. you know, he's choosing comedy. Right. Yeah. yeah. Because that's ultimately what it is. Everything mm-hmm. is a like comedy or tragedy. But um, uh, I really like his laugh in this one mm-hmm. how they made it like and I love how they tied everything together like you can tell that the director was a real fan of Batman yeah or jo- yeah. Jo- no, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah in, in, in that series yeah, yeah. The, yeah and like um, how how like he gave the card and then but you missed it on the reading right so the card said like uh, I'm sorry for my laughter uh, I read it, most of it yeah I didn't it, read all of it yeah. it happens you can get it from people with like head trauma Okay. Oh, so like, they're already hinting. And they're already, already hinting it. And then you find out later that he was, like, abused heavily as a child. Right. So it's like, oh, he's being beaten. And mm. that's where he got his laughter thing from. And then, like, how the the mother was always, like, he was such a happy child. We always call him happy. I never heard him crying. Yeah. But, like, instead of crying, he laughs. Like, right. his, whenever he's under stress, he starts laughing. Mm-hmm. Like, uncontrollably. Oh. She wants to get in on the podcast. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah So yeah, I, yeah. I really like that. The, the realism that they put into that one was awesome. So like the 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 areas, like because the whole movie and the way it ends, um, the, there's now there's a different theories, like did this really happen or... Yeah, yeah, totally, uh, totally. Like, I but, heard that but, prior, but I was like, I didn't... No, 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 it. But, it, but it makes sense for the movie for you to question these sort of things because Joker is that crazy. You don't know right, if he... Right. Created this thing in his mind. Oh, it's it, it's like or when you're dealing with Joker, you're dealing with an actual crazy. Yeah. Person. So you don't know if what what actually happened. Ex- you know, you know, it's weird. Like that is true. Like when you're dealing with Joker, you're actually dealing with a crazy person because like his romantic interest in the movie, that was all made up. Made up. When, exactly. Exactly. And that was so crazy. That was such a psychological thriller. When the girl came in, she's like, "Yeah, uh, your name's oh. Arthur, right? You live down the hall." And mm. I was like, "Wait, right." That was such a like, <laughs> if there is like like Joker would be that crazy like filled exactly. with yeah. exactly yeah 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 um yeah what, uh, so what else would you like from the what did you like about the movie so like it's it's the it's the you know the actual origin basically in in the sense it started off as Arthur right right and right. and Arthur who ends up becoming 
the Joker, right? Totally, yeah. Uh, and it's like him figuring out, um, or it's like the 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 layers keep peeling back, and that makes him get more further and further into becoming Joker. That's, right, that's what I right, like. right, true, true, true. Like, um, like you were saying, like, like more truths that he found out, more truths, and like, um, they cut his funding, cut the yeah, so his like, medication was removed. Yeah, someone, I think, like that's when he started, uh, uh, like having the visions with the girlfriend, or like the oh, oh, yeah. is that after losing his medications, and then, uh, like that's, and like even with the, with the killing and everything, it's like. Like it started to, he started to really like it. Like it, 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 it was. Uh, it, he was always oh. a victim his entire life. Yeah. And then once he killed someone, you saw that he, he like, he enjoyed he, that power. That and, was the one. He, he finally achieved some sort of self worth. Yeah. You know, remember he's like, I always thought that my life didn't matter, but mm-hmm. now I realize it does because when he killed those people, he made it on the news. But it's like that is. Remember the sniper who like, um, the sniper in the U.S. Yeah, there was that big thing, and like he, um, he like hid inside of his trunk, and then he was like mm-hmm. sniping people through the gas tank, stuff like that. Or like um, the guy, even North York, right, killed mm-hmm. killed all those people. It's like, yeah, of course, yeah. If you thought your life was meaningless, and you started going killing all these people, you'd start to think like maybe I am not meaningless in this world. Right, my actions do matter. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think that's that, those are things that were giving him power. Mm-hmm. It's weird how like. Actually, now that now that I think back, so all right, the whole premise, if you look at it, is like Gotham is what made Joker Joker. Yeah, it's not that yeah. like, it's not like Joker was this guy that you know was always plotting and evil. It's like no, all of his circumstances turned him into who he is. Yeah, like you're a product of your environment. Right. You know, and um, so like look, that that should be the main. I, I felt like should be the main takeaway from from the movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, mainly the 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 uh, mainstream thinking is is oh like all these um, uh, violence is what people will take away or that's what they keep talking about right right when yeah. when it's more about the the social structures and uh, yeah when you're we, like a broken system yeah and in, in a broken system in a broken system you have broken people yeah actually you know it's funny I watched Hustlers right after that movie mm-hmm. and like it was also set in like a New York. Well, it was set in New York, but, like, um, Gotham mm-hmm. is pretty much, like, in New York. And, like, um, in that movie, they were pushed to extreme circumstances because of their environment, because right. of the 2008 crash. That was what the movie was about. Oh, okay. It was the 2008 yeah, yeah, crash yeah. that they started, like, stealing money, mm-hmm. you know, or doing these crazy things for money. And it's, like, just like the Joker. It's, like, your environment pushed you to the brink. Right. You know? But, uh, so, like, what I was going to say was the art piece of it in the because you were a little late in the beginning remember how he said like all it was was the radio playing and it was just slowly panning into him mm-hmm. it makes sense now because the whole radio was all about oh a crime wave outside oh all this right, craziness right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like no this is what the movie's about the the pressures of gotham weighing on this one person and making him crazy mm. you know like it's like a perfect storm of violence and breeding you know right. like he wanted to be a comedian and then he went up, he faces fears, and then he got put on the Gotham, like, Tonight Show. Yeah. And got made fun of. Right. Well, that's the other thing, too. Like, um, did he even actually, uh, like, have a good um, stand-up? No, like, he didn't. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like his... But in that scene when it was like they started playing music and then he put his arms out. And, yeah. And like, you heard the laughter. You're yeah. like, oh, wow, like, he actually had a good set. Yeah. You know? But then, like, you find out later when they play the real version of it, it's like, mm-hmm. no, he didn't have a good set. And then they use that as material. Yeah. But then I like what he said. Remember, he's like, no, you're you're terrible, Maury. Yeah. Because, like, you, you use my footage mm-hmm. to make fun of me. Mm-hmm. You know? And then I love that thing when he's like, what do you get when blah, blah, blah. And then uh, he pulls out the gun and shoots him on live air. It was like, <laughs> damn, bro. Yeah, that that felt like a Joker thing. It felt like a Joker thing. He spent the whole time like preparing for his own suicide. On, yeah. Um... Well, that was the. I felt like that's what the movie was trying to make us think because it's like, like. Uh, but he did. Maybe he did actually think that he was going to. Until and then he got like pushed into it. And he's yeah. like, no, I'm not going to kill myself. I'm going to kill you. Yeah. Yeah. And then so, so one of the questions was like, 
is this the real Joker, like Batman's Joker? Mm -hmm. Or is this somebody who, like, somebody who inspired the Joker? Right. Because, like, after that thing, remember it was, like, um, the... Oh... It was, it was like the Joker, um, it, it was like the Joker, he made all these people believe in themselves. Like, yeah. it was like the lower class mm-hmm. stood up and like fought against the yeah. upper class. Yeah. That way he was like, he was like the symbol, how like Batman's a symbol for like righteousness, Joker's a symbol for like, um, equality. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. For like, yeah, for, yeah, yeah. for yeah. a weird perspective, right. it's like, he is the symbol for equality. Mm-hmm. Um, and I liked how they show because like in the in the series it was always like oh joker killed batman's parents right? yeah like they alluded to that so many times but then him being a little kid and the guy had a joker mask when he killed his parents it's like it's like no you just thought it was a joker because and then like as a kid you build up these stories right yeah i really like that and like how um thomas wayne was actually a jerk Mm-hmm. You know, like he he wasn't standing up for the yeah. I, I called that in the trailer, right? I don't know if you remember. Like I think that's Thomas Twain. Yeah, you did, you did. Yeah, you did, you did. <laughs> and I I really liked um, I really liked that perspective on it because like if Batman were to see what yeah like this movie, he'd be mm-hmm. like, oh my my world is shattered. Like I've been fighting for so long right. for an uh, illusion. Yeah, not a real idea. Like you didn't know your father. Right. You know? Yeah. And and cuz yeah. like in the actual Batman canon it made no sense that like he was a little kid and then like oh yeah thieves like killed his parents. Mm-hmm. Like well why would they do that so random? Like mm-hmm. they would just take his um cuz you know like the whole Batman series like this is the only one that I hope they make in canon because it made logical sense. Yeah. Right? Cuz like in all the series it's like oh his parents got killed by like thieves. But it's like yeah, why would they kill you though? Like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if you're already giving your wallet and all that like why would you like be killed yeah but like watching the media's portrayal of how thomas wayne was so evil mm-hmm. it's like yeah of course people want to go out and kill him right because thomas wayne is the symbol of the elite class yeah whereas the joker is the symbol of the forgotten class yeah you know exactly and they want to rise up yeah and it feels like it's even fits to today's time too yeah, yeah totally that, that's yeah. also why it worked out um uh for the for that story, it's like the two thousand eight crisis is mm-hmm. um, what that's something that would help a Joker, you know? Yeah. He'd oh be yeah. Like, oh, let's like we need to fight for what's right. You know what? Like that movie. If you look at it, it's like Batman's fighting for what he believes is right, and so is Joker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But unwittingly, like Joker's like doing it, not trying. To, like because they're like, "Oh, are you doing this for a political thing?" Like he's not trying to be. Um, a symbol. Yeah. But he is a symbol. Yeah. Yeah. But it's more like, yeah, he never, he become, like, I guess that's like the, you know, like positions for leaders. It's like the ones who don't want to be are the best ones. Oh, okay. okay Technically okay. he is. With <laughs> True. Yeah. Because like he was like, he wasn't evil. Yeah. He was just pushed to those circumstances. Exactly. You know, like they cut his funding. Yeah. He couldn't get money and like people were bullying him. Mm hmm. You know, when the guy, um, he brought the gun to the children's hospital. I mean, that was his bad. But then, like, where do you get the gun from? That guy. And then the guy told his boss, like, oh, he tried to buy a gun off me. Right. Which was, yeah. So it's like, yeah, you should say. Like, there were so many moments of vindication in that movie. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I felt good that he was doing that. Mm -hmm. You know, I felt good for him when he, like, he killed his coworker. Because it was like, yeah, man, that guy screwed you over. Right. But then, like, the question is, like, where do you draw the line? Or, like, where do you, um, like, when is too much too much, mm-hmm. you know? Because, like, obviously, like, killing your coworker for that was bad. But yeah, there's a lot the of time, moral why, questions yeah, in this. Right, in but yet way. we felt vindication for him. So yeah. it was like, okay, is this a good thing or a bad thing, mm-hmm. you know? I think that's what is great about the movie. I think movies that make you think that... Are like really great sort of like the thanos thing right like we can empathize with thanos's thing you're like yeah that makes sense yeah like you want to kill half the planet uh, half the universe because there's not enough resources yeah. makes sense mm-hmm. you know whereas like if it's like black and white good and evil then it's like it's easier for us to tell but life isn't always that way it's always exactly. gray yeah so like that's what makes good movies good movies that it makes you question your foundation mm-hmm. yeah 
I like that aspect. It's in in a sense, even though it wasn't necessarily Joker, but it was the whole that whole thing. It's more like Joker created the Batman. Yeah, that's true. Right. Joker did create the Batman. The, it, it's sort of like the whole yin and yang thing, right? Yeah. You have too much. You have too much yang, like hard energy. You gonna end up going soft. Yeah. Too much soft energy, you're gonna end up going hard. You know, like <laughs> there's too much chaos. So chaos and bread, order, yeah. which is Batman. Right. Yep. Oh. Yeah. So, um, what would you not like about the movie? Uh, that's what I'm saying. It's near perfect. I don't know what I like to give it. It's almost like a perfect movie to me. Oh, so nothing you didn't like? Yeah. No. True. Actually, you know, I. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's true. Because I'm like, right, because what did I like about as the movie? we keep talking about it, because as I keep watching these other things. Uh, there's so many layers to it, and uh, he's hearing the different people's theories yeah. is like that's what makes a good movie because totally. you keep talking about yeah, it you're right, you're after right. the after the fact, right? You, you know, it, it's funny because like I was like, oh, what didn't I like about the movie? I'm like, the only thing I didn't like was my own preconceived notion because I thought it was going to be Joker, yeah. Joker, but it was like no psychological thriller. So it's like you can't really knock a movie for what you think it's going to be. Right. So I don't know what I would say was bad about the movie because mm-hmm. they put in so much, they like tied it so well into the canon. They used all the characters. Like yeah. Bruce Wayne was there. That was amazing that they put Bruce Wayne there. <laughs> I mean, it, so it, awesome. it, it. Yeah, exactly. It, it hit all the things in in that sense of, uh, um, like you know, it's it's a comic book, but it's also like the focus of it was all about Joker. Right. He was in almost all every the whole movie was him, right? Right, totally, totally. Like like he's oh, that, oh I just remember like remember when he was like watching some guy do the stand up and he was writing notes down. Yeah. yeah. But he was laughing at offbeat times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I think it's like to me. I view it like he was never in in uh, uh, like he's never in sync with society. He oh, was off. Oh, that's a good. That's oh, that's a good revelation. I didn't even think about it like that. Right. True. So uh, I thought that was cool. I was like, but like Joker himself, it's like he was beaten up so much. Like he's yeah. not like a super villain with like amazing martial arts skills no, exactly. and like all that. No. He's just like a, a human being that got pushed to the brink. Yeah. And cracked. Exactly. And then wants to take out his suffering. Or no, he doesn't even want to take out his suffering. He wants to vind- he wants to like justify his or rectify his suffering. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't want other people to suffer like he did yeah you know because yeah, uh, that line in the beginning too is like where what happened to decency and yeah he that. was saying all that yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i i loved it that's that they hit all those points F- favorite super villain yeah mm. better yeah. than thanos uh yeah i mean we, this is more human right like in that sense true okay okay on a re- all right you know what i'm gonna go Best Marvel. But it's not. It's not even like I. I, I don't even view it like he's a. He's a villain because it's not something. Or antagonist. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, best. <laughs> in, <laughs> in uh, I'm gonna say in the Marvel universe, yeah. best antagonist would be um, would be Thanos, and DC universe best antagonist would be um, Joker. Yeah. 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 That's that's just. An amazing, amazing. And the acting too was. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah, yeah. totally, totally. I don't. Know, I never no, looked at Joaquin Phoenix as like you know. No, not at all. And I thought that was the best laugh ever. Yeah. Like, and but put the, and putting it with the condition makes more sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah, I don't yeah, see yeah. how it was like it's a real thing, and I don't see how it was never yeah. incorporated before. But it was. It's it's Definitely, a it's yeah. a great fit. Totally, I agree. I agree. Um, final thoughts. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, there's some like the other theories that I heard was like. Because is uh, Penny Fleck telling the truth or not, right? No, definitely not. Yeah, but then it's like he has the gene of crazy gene. So is he his daughter? Is he her? her is he... Um... No, I don't think so. So it's like, it's like I that. It's I don't like... think it's his daughter. I think... right, no, 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 yeah. no, I meant like son. son. Oh, right. it's, yeah, it's, yeah. I don't think it's his son. No, uh, her son. Or it's her son or not, right? Like, because... Like, it, no, 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 I'm saying like... Again, we have this thing to bring up, bring up different opinions. Some would say no. Some would say maybe. But, no, I don't know because, because like, it's they, like they showed the yeah, but she was crazy. Then he's crazy. It's like no, a, no, no, no. But but uh, there is there is like no, no, no. I know, I know. No, I, exactly. But like even in that, it's like it, it, it's like um, uh, even in, like what I felt when I was seeing that too. It's like it made me question both because it's like is someone setting up her to make it look like that? 
don't know. That's like no, 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 I'm, I'm just saying. Like no, no, there was the moment of my, there was a moment of thought of, of that, but I didn't agree with that. But it was right. like to bring up that kind of thought. It's like this movie is going, uh, like adding all these things to it without me even. <laughs> With a, you know True, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so that's yeah. what I meant. Like, like it, it still questions, but then I'm more sure it's not. But it's like you know what I mean? It's I, like I, yeah, no, like I, maybe ten percent, maybe I, like I but like ninety percent. No, it's like I, I feel like you have like you have to draw the line somewhere because yeah. if you, then you could say like was the whole movie made up? Because but, it was in his head. But that's what makes that's what I like at least. Make, make making me question all these things makes it even more greater of a movie because I don't know what is true. Right, right, right for sure. And yeah, that, sure. that's, what, that's what makes it... I, I felt that, that's what made it awesome. Like, that added more to it, and that's why it's such a near-perfect movie in that sense. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, you know, you felt bad for the guy, but it's like... That, that's how... That's the Joker. That we know who he became. He, how we become that. How we became that, right? Yeah, true. But, yeah. yeah. It's the best one so far. <laughs> That's what I'll say. <laughs> so, uh, so let's rescore it. Are you are you gonna give it the full ten? Uh, let's give it that point one extra. Point. So it's gonna be so ten. We're going ten. Oh, we're going ten. This we're is the first ten. ten movie ever. Wow. Okay. You know, I, what? I couldn't stop thinking about it after the movie. It's like the dance that he had. Like true. Is, oh, is that, this that was the, another thing. Like the is, dance made him feel like free. Yeah, and it's like, and it's. Are you? It's that. Are you entertained or like? Is this is the end, right? Like this is the, um, like it's like you know the the bow at the end of the movie. It's totally. like, like end of a show, right? Or, so it's like that. Is there so many things to it? The way it right. was, it just made sense. Oh, the way he ran, he always had clown shoes on. It's like true. <laughs> oh yeah, even the way he ran. Yeah. yeah, but he ran fast though. He ran fast, yeah. But yeah. he ran like as if he had clown shoes on. Like that's how they run. Oh, that's it's... so fascinating. <laughs> Wow, so even subtle things like that. That's what I'm saying. That. That's what I'm saying, yeah. There's so many layers to it. True. That huh. it just, yeah. You know, yeah, I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm going to give it a 10, too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. All right, we got that 10. All right. Joker, all right. best Joker and best psychological thriller. Mm. You, you, like, have never given a 10 before. I haven't, I know. Yeah. But this was this is the one. You love Joker, so I am. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Best. Definitely go check it out. Yeah, this is a for sure watch. Yeah, even if you're not a um, superhero. Even though we just said a bunch, of, I think you should be watching this after you've already. Sure, watched that's it. very true. That's very true. <laughs> um, even though you, you um, or watch it again, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Even though you're, even if you're not a superhero fan. Like this is yeah, it's not a, exactly. worth watching. Exactly, because like there's so many layers to it, and you can definitely like take away a lot. Yeah, you don't have to know anything about Batman or anything like that. But it's a great like entryway into like comic book movies. Yeah, you know what I mean, because like from there you're like, oh, what other things have they made? But right. it's like just wait for more new things because like DC's heading in a better direction. I think if DC focuses it like this, focuses more on the story individually. Um, I think it just works out better for them, and then it's like certain characters, you know, uh, need a, like a higher rating to tell a proper. Like you know, what I mean, this was a rated R. Mm. One, I think the first for DC, I guess. Oh, I guess um, I don't know. I think so. Yeah, yeah, it's the first for DC. So, this, you know, what I mean, like Deadpool, like it made sense uh, for that character, but it's right. um, this is what they need to do if if. You know, it'd be different from Marvel, and and be successful in that, in that sense, I think. Yeah, true. I agree. Yeah. All right, so definitely check this one out. Um, next week, no movies. No, I don't think there isn't much. But we are going to gamer. Oh, we should buy those tickets. Oh um, right, yeah. What, just, what is it called? E L G X or E L G something like that. E, yeah, some yeah. Some the, gaming like a video game convention. Yeah. With the, yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna hit that up. And then that same week, I'm going to be going to Egypt, so no podcast after okay. that. But um, they at least got two more episodes yep. before I head out. Uh, so until next time, uh, oh, pick up teas on zenrealclothingco.com. Mm-hmm. This episode is sponsored by Zen Real Clothing Co. 
Um, use the offer code SG Podcast at checkout for twenty percent off your order. Until right. next time, stay hungry, stay foolish, stay jokerish. <laughs> Put on a happy face. Ooh, good one, good one. All right, take it easy. Peace. Bye.